First, install your posts according to local code requirements. For residential jobs, use 36-inch railing with 38-inch posts. For commercial jobs, select 42-inch railing and 44-inch posts. Here, our installer, Chris, is using our Keylink under deck bracket mounting system that is both easy to use and code compliant. Make sure you have the right posts for the right place on your deck. End posts sit where the cable will terminate. Corner posts have interior channels that allow cable to run around a corner without stopping. The line post with upgrade is a transition post. In this case, it sits at the top of the stairs so the cable can come in level and then start down the stairs. Why do you need this post here? Because the upgraded fittings in this line post keep the angled cable from cutting into and chipping the powder coating. A regular line post does not have the stainless steel fittings because the cable runs through smoothly and doesn't change direction. So the powder coating will be safe from chipping. If you want to take your cable off in a new horizontal direction, but at an angle greater than 90 degrees, or down the stairs, the line post with upgrade is your transition post and what you should order. Any section that is more than 36 inches in length requires one of the intermediate balusters that come with the railing section. Attach one of the included baluster mounts to your deck, centering it between the posts, and attach one to the center of your top rail. Next, Cut your top rail to size and install it using our self-centering brackets. We recommend pre-drilling. Now it's time to run your cable. Chris starts at the intermediate baluster closest to the end of the run and takes the cable down the stairs, where it will terminate at the stair end post. Jeremiah puts the cable into the stair end post and inserts it fully, turning it clockwise to keep it from unwinding. Then Chris cuts it and places the cut end into the other end post receiver. He chose to do it this way because it's easier to cut the cable for entry into a level fitting than that of a stair fitting. If you are cutting the cable to finish in a stair end post, make sure to leave a bit of extra to account for the angled entry. Chris and Jeremiah use the cable needle to put the cable through the intermediate balusters since the balusters don't have fittings to help the cable slide through. This makes the job easier and keeps the cable end from fraying. The needle is rigid to help it move easily through the posts and balusters, but since it doesn't bend, it will not go through a corner post. After all of the cable has been placed, Chris tensions each strand of cable using an Allen wrench on one side and the cable vise grip, available through Keylink, on the other to hold the cable tight. The tension gauge lets him know when he's reached the appropriate tension. When tightening cable, make sure the cable is not spinning, which could indicate over-tightening. Once posts, rails, and cable are installed, add your post caps and trim to finish the railing. Then sit back and enjoy the finished product. Another landing? Now, what would happen if this project required a second landing and another set of stairs? You would still end your initial cable run with a stair end post. Then start the next run on the second landing with a new level end post. Finish the level run at an upgraded transition line post and start down the stairs again. Complete the run with a stair end post. Troubleshooting. Need to release cable? Use the cable release key. First, remove the tension from the cable. Then slide the cable release key over the cable into the receiver and push to release the cable from the lock jaw fitting. If you're having trouble with tensioning, check your fittings. Sometimes, in installation or shipping, the small fittings in the end post that grip the cable get pushed back into the post. If this happens, the cable will not tension properly. Take the receiver cap off by spinning the exterior of the fitting counterclockwise and then use a large Phillips head screwdriver to spin the interior fitting out to the front of the post where the cable will enter. To learn more or to find our installation guide, check out the resources page of our website, keylinkonline.com.